please subscribe. Thank you. Welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to lip sync in Prisma 3D. And I'll be using this character I made in 3D modeling app. The link to download this 3D model is available in the description. And also, if you are interested in learning how you can create a character like this, check this video in the description. Alright, now moving to Prisma 3D. Quickly, I create a new project and import my character. Also, added the colors and textures. To make my character talk, I'm going to quickly create a mouth for him. I'll be using Prisma 3D modeling features. This is actually my first time of 3D modeling with Prisma 3D new version. First, I started by using a cube to make the mouth and then I went for the teeth. Then I duplicated the teeth and added the tongue. Finally, adding textures to the mount. I'm going to show you how to rig the mount to move and talk. Go to modeling, click on rigging and select the custom bones. Next, add the bones and the lips. Now, if you add a second bone, you will notice the bones are combined. To separate them, group the bones directly to the head. Add the other bones and repeat. I think rigging it from the inside is better. So I'll flip my view to the inside. Now we are done adding bones around the lip. Next step is to add bones around the bones. I know it doesn't make sense but basically add bones um, in the wider circle. You will understand it once I'm done. Now we are done adding the bones, this is how it should look. You can see the pattern, bones around the lips and then another wider circle of bones. Now select all the bones we have created. Once I selected all the bones, I click on Submit.
Now if you select the bones around the lips, you can actually move the mouth the way you like. Now there is no need for the outer bones so select all the other bones and hide. Now let's add the mouth I created earlier. Also added bones to the tongue to allow it food. Now let me show you how to rig the remaining part of the head. Starting from the neck, I'm going to add bones all the way to the top of his head. The two bones I added is for the jaw and to allow him squeeze his face. Now when I tried bending his neck forward and backward, this happened. To fix this, all you need to do is group the model with the lips to the jaw bone. Also, group the mouth to the same jaw. That fix it. Now to animating the lips to move. First, I import an audio. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Now we need our character to see this. First, select our character and create an animation. After that, we want to create an initial frame for the lips. Please so select all the bones around the lips and create a first frame. I did the same for the teeth and the tongue. Now to animate. For him to say please subscribe, I need to start with the first letter P. So for that I just joined his lips together and then added 
a frame for that. For the next frame, I needed him to open his mouth for E to pronounce E. Once I opened his mouth, I joined his teeth together. Just like that, following the audio, I was able please to subscribe. animate him to say, Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Now, if you don't understand how lip syncing work, you can please subscribe. Use this chat. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Finally, I added some minor jaw movements. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. It's alright if you don't get it in your first try. I actually attempted this over 10 times or so before getting it. Finally, I added some lights and camera for rendering. Now export, changing my resolution to 1080, the frame rate to 24 and the duration just 1.2 seconds should do. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.